Welcome back everyone to episode 35 of Rio's Stealth Yellow. Today I take a break from the uh, big city and come out here to the countryside. I thought I'd like to put in a little rural town out here. I found this nice little lake out here to work with. I think it would be nice to build around that. And so, uh, first I get rid of trees and we gotta get things leveled out sort of th think about where I want things to grow you can see we have that lake is at a low point at the, the junction of three valleys it looks like there I'm gonna sort of build it around that three valley concept just eke out a little more land to build on here. Around the lake. That looks pretty good. Now, roadway. I, I envision a, the main street of this roadway coming along the base of this uh, hill here. Running from valley valley. First we'll need to think the interior roads of the town will be uh stirred roads. It is going to be a very small town. Main road there's paved, it's okay. A little more hookups in here. Have some more roadways to build on. It's going to be mostly houses. All the commercial stuff's going to be up by the main road. Uh, we put another little road coming out this way. Don't know what I'll do with that yet. That shows you the uh, junction there of the three valleys. I'm going to attach that town to the main town through that clover leaf. So you can see uh, contour lines here. I'll put a, just a regular four-lane, two-way, rural, paved road going out there. Up over the mountain, but uh, sort of following the uh, the low points, the valleys. I don't want to go direct, because the valley is right over here. I'll hook that up later. First, we'll get our main pathway through here. Yeah, don't want any tunnels. Just want it to be surface road. Yeah, I think it all goes up a little bit and then goes down into the valley. I like that. We still maintain the uh, hidden nature of the little town out here. When you're down in this town, you can't even see the big city. Just good. Get everything leveled off there. Get rid of that. Smooth out the, the edges. Yep, looks all good. It's sloping in, so smooth and little peaky up there at the top. Let me nudge that down a little bit so that it's smoother rest there. Now we gotta get this hook in. That's a four lane road we have up on top. So uh gotta go from three to two lanes down here on the uh overleaf. One lane, I want two lanes. It's better. And 
Grab the four lane again. Little nub of four lanes there. Work with. Always works good, better if you're going to use the uh, hookup tool. Uh, I gotta fix this intersection here. I think I want one lane just for a U turn there. In case anybody wants to use it for that. Turn only though. Especially with the uh, stow distance between those uh, nodes. No choice for them to change lanes, so. Uh, that needs to be straightened out a little bit. Hey, man. Just looks. Now let's get this hooked up. We can do a leveling after the fact here. Uh, no, it's the wrong tool. No! Wrong tool. Well, that's what I want. And that's going uphill. Nice little S curve there. Going uphill it always looks good. Now it's just a matter of uh, smoothing it out a bit. I do like that bite of the cliff there, that's nice. Uh, it's got to be sloped and fixed. It's pretty good. It's a little too steep there, I think, to that uh, junction. So I think I want to lower that down a bit. Yeah, like that. No, and then do my smoothing again. Yeah. Much better. Yes, I like that. Let's take care of this. We have that uh, third lane there as a turn only, and I don't want that. I wanted to let have some choice there. to go. You can go there or there. You have a choice. can only go to that third lane, then uh, they wanted to 
go right on the freeway there, they won't be able to get out of their land. But we'll see how many people are doing that. Can change it later. That so nobody U turns up there. All right. To fix this junction, not quite. It's really not pretty unfunctional. It's kind of weird looking. Uh, no, didn't want to do that. Want to increase the four lane. There we go. I don't think I want to join the uh, dirt road up at the that junction like that. Just kind of weird looking. I think I'll disconnect it, reconnect it a little further down. Yeah, something like that. Now I can straighten out this connection here so it's a little, little more natural looking. Something like that. Still not really great. Uh, I can fix that later. I move that to four lane straight into the uh, junction there. Smooth it out. But for the time being, looks fine. All right. Now up on top of the hill here. I think a little town like this out in the middle of uh, nowhere would have a couple of uh, wind turbines generating their power. Even though I have a uh, setup so that right now it's grabbing power from the city. I'm using the 81 tile mod. No power lines, no water pipes. Strictly for looks. As you can see, being a hill there, it's got plenty of wind. It's the kind of thing that would be up on the hill above a small town like this. Nowadays, anyway. And we need to put a road on up there. Uh, I think it's got a snake a little bit. It's, a, it's too steep. Climb. So I think I'll have to go the other way a little bit. Then up and around. Yeah, that'll do. In a little straight road here, and we detail it. Put some uh, maintenance buildings up here. I have to see if I can find those old school radio stations. Might look good up there with a tall tower. Nice little S curve. Yeah, after we get that smoothed out, should be just fine. Funny, 
all those nodes there <laughs> flat. Go through and slope them. Oh yeah, it looks very good. Excellent. And it's detail. I get around to detailing this place. Put a fence up on the outside portion of the road. And do a little smoothing there of the cliff. Okay, a uh, town like this would also have like a water tower on somewhere. Perhaps at the entrance of the town. A lot of these little towns have a like, big water tower with the town name on it. Would be pretty cool if uh, we had a tower that, that we could uh, put a name on in text. We need a water treatment plant. Handle the sewage. Don't really need it, like I said, I'm using the mod. All the stuff from here is actually going to the main site for the city. The whole map, I should say. But this looks like a good place for it. Close enough to the water, however it's treated, you pump back into the lake. Let's see all the other improvements. Uh, sound like this would have garbage dump. Landfill. Word I'm looking for. Get that rock out of there. Having the um, three roadways, actually one main roadway. The other two will be hooked up eventually to the outside world time being they can be dead ends into this little valley just fine the advantage of having those three sides like that you can put these uh, places that nobody wants to live near out there on the edges right It'll do fine. Let's see what other stuff we got here. I'm thinking up here on this other ridge, a forest, a little town like this usually has a reason for existing because of a factory or a farm, what have you. Some sort of industry that uh, keeps the town alive. Uh, this particular town, I think, will do forestry. So I'm going to put a forestry uh, industry up here on top of this ridge. It, uh, you know, it's a hidden right there in the middle of all these uh, trees. It's up on the ridge. You can't even really see it from your uh, from the town, and it will provide employment for the people of the town. And I'm not even going to hook it up to the uh, metro. Keep this as an isolated little town. Uh, 
all the workers up there in the forestry will more than likely come from the people who are living down here in the town. I suppose some people can commute out here from the uh, big city on the highway, but I don't think they will be likely to do that. Yeah, let's stick out a nice little forestry industry area. And I'm putting this in right away because you do have to uh, have a reason for people to build their houses down there by the lake. And if there's jobs waiting for them, they're more likely to do so. Yeah, and if I have to expand this, you can see I've got room to expand this further up into the forest or down towards the river there. Time being, it's, it's a good little size. We need some processing here, some plain timber, some paper. Already, I've got to expand this a little bit because I forgot to put a uh, log yard. That is the primary storage for the raw materials of the forest, i.e. logs. Yes, log. All kids love log. Before they go to the sawmill, paper mill. So I need a log yard. We'll pick a, a large one. Flatten out another little area there. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Log, log yard. Okay, I think that's pretty much done up there. Come back to the city here. A city, town. It's only a town, and it's going to stay a town, I think. Depends on how much longer I play this map here. Uh, you know, eventually you could have the suburban sprawl reach out here. But that would be a sad end for this nice little community. And with the uh, three sided lake there. I think I'm going to name this place Pyramid Lake. Pyramid Lake. Yeah, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, policies. Not much going on policy-wise. Don't even have recycling checked because I don't have a recycling station. Just a dump. Should probably add a recycling, small recycling place. 
this will take some of the pressure off the dump, although, like I said, there won't be that many people living here. Uh, style, I'll click the college style that I made, which has a bunch of old... old style houses. Alright. Let's put in the rest of the, uh, necessities. I need a clinic. I'll use the uh, MCM mid-century modern clinic. It's a low rise, small. Trying to maintain the small town look here. Uh, fire stations. I do have a bunch of assets there, different assets. Like a like a small fire station. Yeah, that one looks better. It's a little smaller. Police station. See, I think I have a little. Yeah, there it is. Least rural station, just a little tiny thing. I think it fits in very well there. Yeah, put in a couple of uh, little uh, parking spaces and stuff. Get into detailing that. Yeah, put in a little bank. Put it right next to the police station. They'll be able to rob that. That bank is a little large for a small town like this. I wish they had a smaller model. Uh, post office. Yes. I got one of those downloaded assets. A US post office style model. It is small. Stuff works really well up there on the main road at the base of the hill. Uh, put a little gas station there. At the first intersection coming into town. Yeah, I think that that looks good. The crematorium over by the dump. And I think it like I said, a town like this would have a cemetery. Find a likely place for this. I gotta flatten out a little more land there. I'm gonna have to do that anyway. Leave room for some houses to grow in there. I sort of like that. I like having that uh, main road up there at the top being just, just sort of one-sided. Everything comes off to the left on that main road. Out here on the uh, little peninsula, I think we need a, a pier. Sure, people will be a uh, Going down to do their boats. I think what we really need as a model is a uh, boat ramp. This is the kind of thing you would have here. And get this thing hooked in the road network somehow. Set 
that to that height. Yep. Set that to the road height. Perfect. straight across I think I'll put a curve in here come back I think I'd like to sort of isolate that here from the roadway and the houses that are gonna be uh, on the other side get some trees in there just to sort of isolate it and we're gonna have to make this rounder Alright, not bad. We need to put some parking in here. My old favorite Two by four. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just to move, move some stuff around. Can't imagine living without the move it mod. My favorite. Really uh, makes life so much easier. I think I gotta have to move that road junction a little bit. Get it off of the. It's a very tight little area down here. Not much room to work with. little tweaking. It's the miracle of the Move It mod. Do a lot of fine tuning. And you gotta bring the land up a little bit there. That's not too bad. Once you get it dressed up, detail trees, what have you. Some houses growing in here. Ah, uh, schools. I don't have any really, really small schools here. I think I'll have to go with the uh, small generic. Elementary school. Find a good spot for it. I think it's gotta be up on the main road. Really want nothing but houses down along the dirt roads there. Uh, same thing with the high school. I think I'm stuck with the generic. It's the smallest one they have. Nice straight road here. Always looking for those for the high school. This is Merca. Gotta have a football field. But that's not a football field, is it? That is a park some kind and you are an idiot there we go great Our 
parking right across from the high school. Simple parking lot. Yep. That'll do just fine. Dang. Need to get rid of those edges. I hate those little edges. That these buildings pop down. The only way to get rid of them is to back off them a little bit and then smooth it out. And that hillside will be just fine covered with trees. I think as the town grows, there may be a sneaky roadway going up the edge side of that hill. Some houses on it. And uh, I do need to put a park in here. I think the old standard park with trees. Do fine here. I think we got just room for it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down shaping up nicely. I think we have everything we need. So I think it's time to zone. You can have houses on the uh, main drag up there just before it gets to the uh, center of the town. It's okay to have houses along the main drag. I think this will turn out to be a nice little community. There's our commercial. All right, let's crank her up. Some stuff growing in here. We do have demand for residential and commercial, so stuff should be growing in fairly quickly. Relatively quickly. Yeah, there's some stuff going in there now. I thought it occurred to me to continue this road around to an intersection down here, just outside of town. So a lot of the uh, timber trucks don't have to go through the town there. And it'll give us something to build against we want to expand that industry area up there. We do have to pay attention to uh, traffic here because we don't have a uh, rail line coming to this industry. And I'm not sure we'll ever have a rail line coming out here. It's part of that rural look out here. Of course, if traffic, especially truck traffic, does become overwhelming, we're going to have to find a way to get a cargo terminal out here. Just to keep the traffic down. And it needs to be much smoother. There to there. All right, that's a lot smoother. But it does need to be less of a cut. Let's take the edges off of this. If you make the slopes on either side shallow enough, they can have. Uh, Trees growing on them. Okay. All 
right, trucks can go straight on through there. We do have some trucks using the roadway there. Down to here. Most of them will be turning right here. Get out of town. There's no other way out of town. Yet, don't have another junction at the other point of the triangle yet, so... That may come in the future. That's future growth for this little town. Yeah, most of them are going to be turning uh, right there. Fill this out with some more trees. Yeah, I do like that. I like having that industry up on the hill. I bet when you're down in the town there looking up, you can't even see it because of the trees. Can't see the forestry for the trees. Uh -huh. All right, we've got some vehicles coming in. The big blue ones are mail trucks, which is kind of funky, but rather large such a small town and we looks like we have somebody with a trailer there they're driving all around this oh those trucks coming in here don't like that don't want the trucks on this gravel road I don't even know why they're coming into the gravel road there they're just going back out it's kind of weird Strange indeed. This is indeed a disturbing universe. I do think this road here needs to be upgraded. Since it is a junction between the finished roads. Going by the high school there. And the entrance to the forestry area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little dirt roads that are coming off here. And prohibiting trucks. Trucks got to stay on the uh, paved roads there. And that should not be a problem at all. It's, there's no commercial down out on the, uh, the dirt roads. So there's no reason in the world for semi trucks to be down on those dirt roads I'll let it run a bit see if uh, they get the memo no longer go down there gotta wait for all the ones that have already been programmed to go that way mail trucks will still go there they're like garbage trucks they'll ignore the prohibitions I gotta do it on this road too. You can see there's a bunch of trucks going up to the the windmills. Using it as a turnaround. So I'll also not allow cars to go up there. I don't know why the AI always wants to go use a dead end road as a turnaround. Really stupid AI. There are little houses growing in there. It looks nice. It's a nice house there. Look at all the foliage in its yard. All right. Well, I think we've gone as far as we can today. We'll call that an episode. As always, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again. Tomorrow.